G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, look, today I just wanted to do a little video, just talk you through uh, some, something a few of you have been asking about how I connect uh, the uh, MPT8 up to the MPD8. Um, now I use the glass fibre link that is provided with the MPT8. So um, what we do essentially is we uh, hook up a, a, a single glass fibre link so everything that's output from the MPT8 is done that via its light source through the AT&T glass fiber link down to the DAC. Now, the wonderful thing about that is, is that it essentially it's limitless in relation to, you know, bandwidth and how much data that we can transfer through that link, number one. Number two, there's a total galvanic isolation by doing that as well. So we don't and can't in any way, shape or form get any of the noise that might be in the MPT8 down to the MPD8 where the really sensitive circuitry is. So I'll spin the camera around and I'll point all this stuff out to you and show you exactly what's happening. Okay, so here is the, um, the MPT8 with a CD in it loaded, ready to go, because I'm going to play a disc for you shortly. Down here to the, uh, the MPD8. So that's the, the two components we're talking about. So if we head around the back here a little bit and we have a look, um, there is the glass fibre link that comes out of the, um, the, the output of the uh, MPT8. And that heads down, down here, and goes into the input there of the MPD8. And then obviously you can also see the Robinson Silver Elite XLR cables, and uh, for the so a completely balanced topology here, as you can see, uh, left and right channels are on opposite sides of the chassis, and then those uh, those leads head over to the um, to the preamp over there, and then um, another thing probably worth mentioning here is. Um, the way I've hooked up the streamer. So I, I use the Lumen U1 streaming transport with the X1 uh, power supply. And um, that obviously comes via the um, S-Booster linear power supply over to the Ether Regions uh, Ethernet switch and then out through a, a custom-made cable I had made up that heads along and down into the streamer down there, which might be a bit difficult to see. And then of course, you'll also see the power supply wire, the orange wire for the USB cable, and that heads up and goes into the MPT8. So we use the clock in the MPT8 because it has an amazing clock in it. And then again, it transmits everything via that glass fiber link down to the DAC. So it just seems to be the, the better option in regard to and certainly sonically it's it's a whole lot better going that way than it is any other way that i've found and and according to uh um andreas at playback designs that is the the ultimate way to hook those two components up so i'll play a track for you now have a listen it's sounding absolutely amazing um, and hopefully you can hear that in the recording Make me change my mind 